new app that I found um, and I might be a little late on this one right here but it's called Hazel and Hazel is an awesome application to where um, what it's going to do is it's going to help you with your uh, workflow um, as you can see here that I am a Creative Cloud subscriber and I do use uh, the Creative Cloud um, and first of all let me kind of back up real quick and just let you guys know that the reason that I am so good and I'm not tooting my own horn but you know I uh, have taken time and invested in you know um, lynda.com in reference to you know how to use Photoshop Dreamweaver I mean they have all kind of different stuff and as you can see right here you get a free seven day unlimited access to lynda.com to go in and try it out if you're interested in um, web development if you're interested in, interested in um, you know whatever they have it they got Adobe After Effects all kind of different stuff I mean even if you're not in the development space uh, they even have productivity in reference to you know how to do different stuff um, Adobe does offer this program here called Adobe Edge Animate and um, it's really interesting it's really new um, Reflow um, don't know really a whole lot about those programs I have produced a couple little projects by being an Adobe subscriber however um, this is where I'm learning this is how I learn how to use those programs by um, you know using the lynda.com and like I said right here on my website you can definitely get the seven day free trial to try it out here's a few movies right here that I've put out here um, as an affiliate with them where you can go in you can try them out you can watch the videos if you want and um, you know check them out let me know what you think and let me go ahead and refresh and get that other video to pop up there correctly you know how things go you know things break when you're trying to show somebody something it's like never fails it just never ever fails <laughs> it's all good though um let me get back down here and show you these videos okay uh, alright here we go so here's all four videos right here and then over here we have a little series going on uh, LinkedIn for business Twitter for business Facebook for business and Google Plus for business a lot of my clients that I work with on a day-to-day -day basis they're a little bit you know not too fluent not too familiar with social media so that's the reason why I offer these right here for free as well um, this is kinda of getting you started um, watch a few videos check it out uh, you know definitely let us know what you think we have a comment section here in reference to um, um, here's your videos right here that you can watch you can watch them right on Linda's site right here leave us a comment let us know what you think um, what you learned so far in reference to um, you know Twitter for business you know so you know rock on okay but anywho what I really want to show you in this tutorial right here is here's a little composition I've been kind of playing around with the little movie posters here lately um, if you're subscribed to me I'm sure you've seen some of the speed Photoshop that I've done in reference to putting some of the stuff together but here's this um, the original right here and let me take you back real fast and show you the one that I did right here which is you know it was pretty fun now um, Hazel what Hazel does is what I want to do is I want to go over here to actions and when I download but before I download um, the cool thing is I'm gonna show you my desktop here and I'm going to open up my um, download folder even though there's nothing in there the cool thing with Hazel is and I'm gonna show you how the actions work here so I want to put this in a place where I can see it and then what we're going to do is we're going to open up let me go ahead and go half the size of this window again uh, we're going to open up okay so that's that one and then I'm going to go over here and I also have an action being ran because I like to kind of back myself up and over here I do believe it's going to go into this folder right here um, I want to show it where it's going to show up in this folder but it's also going to show up here on the desktop with a little blue dot so I'm going to go over here now to my Safari window and I'm going to download so keep your eyes uh, well I can download the uh, let's go ahead and download the the JPEG here and keep your eyes here you see it right there there's where it's downloading it's called movie time and then you're going to see it leave out of this folder right here and it's also going to add itself over here after it downloads itself to the desktop here and we'll see if we can get it to move make a move make a move and like I said it just it never fails it always does this like 
when you're trying to show somebody something you're like watch this and it never works <laughs> okay there it goes I was a little bit too impatient you see it's been moved right there here it is right here on the desktop it, it made itself blue and now that it added itself to the desktop it should show up in here actually uh, there it is right there um, it's added itself over here to my little backup folder in Dropbox where I can have access to it on my other machines and I can have access to it um, on your iPad any type of device that you have your phone um, a lot of times this is the way I get stuff to my phone to get it to Instagram you know and we'll make another video on that one day but you see it started from here it went to the download then it went to the desktop and then after the desktop it backed itself up over here as well um, let me go over here real fast and um, we will be doing another tutorial here in the future in reference to this right here it's called Mac App Blocker what it does is it gives you password protection um, in reference to your different apps that you want to set so you know I don't necessarily like to leave my Mac unattended which I do quite often um, in so many different places um, but even when I forget to unlock it and leave it unattended if somebody decided they want to go read my email hey they have a password to go through which is really cool but over here is Hazel and it sits in your system preferences so right here in the system preferences you just pretty much write rules here um, I'm not going to take you through the whole shebang of writing a rule when you first get it I think it's like twelve dollars for the whole program but once you get it they teach you kinda of how to write the rules they give you some sample rules and there's tons and tons of videos all over YouTube on how to write these simple little rules right here so let me go ahead and minimize all this stuff right here and get it off my desktop so I can give the star of the show it's um, it's it's what, what it deserves here so basically I'm just gonna go into this uh, desktop right here and I named it back up and here's my rule any kind that's an image copy to the image folder that's in my Dropbox there and then over here I have the backup you know any kind which is a PDF a document a folder um, you know that's from my uh, it's going to go right to this folder that I created right here in Dropbox as far as your rules in reference to the download rule here's a download rule right here um, you can name the rule I just left it new rule whatever any file um, move from the desktop you know and we'll move it to the desktop which is right here and then it's also going to you know set a color code for whatever I choose in reference to my rule so I can kinda of see what's new you know and the beautiful thing about this whole entire thing of hazel is you can set the rule one time if you're the type of person that you just like to throw images into a certain folder um, you can have it set up a rule and what it's going to do for you is it's automatically going to take that image put it in a folder based off of the rule that you designed so you can say I want my folders to be set up in reference to the dates or the times created or last date modified or whatever the case may be when you just slam a document or you just slam a photo or a photo you know anything inside that folder that you create on your computer Hazel is going to organize it for you every single time you just slam a document in there and you, once you set your rules you write your rules and you kinda get a headache from doing that from you know, it takes you about 20 minutes or so but hey once you really understand how to write those rules you write it one time you never have to revisit it and the beautiful thing is you can have it syncing all through Dropbox where you can see it on your multiple devices as I have done myself here so here's all my images um, here's another rule right here where it collects the information for me and then here's another rule right here so I got these rules set up and this is in Dropbox and it all syncs up and you can see right here where I misspelled the word from I spelled it F-R-E-M but I'm afraid to change it because if I change it the rule is going to be broken so I said oh whatever it's, it's, it's just my computer nobody else sees it you know I know what I meant to say who cares but you know if I go change the name of this folder right here I would have to go change it in Hazel but I set it up once and I just don't feel like messing with it again so therefore hey it, it can just stay that way you know and that's just what it's about because when I selected this folder that's the folder that it's looking for the misspelled folder so you know actually I'm gonna do like a lot of the tech guys in the tech world do to say hey I did that on purpose just so you can see 
how fine tuned this thing is. <laughs> but anywho, um, but yeah, check it out, Hazel. Um, I'll put the link below. No affiliate connection to it whatsoever. Um, but you know, it's just a great tool. I mean, it just really helps with productivity in reference to um, when it comes to just kind of keeping a really nice clean computer with a nice workflow and anytime you download anything um, it already kind of has the little permission set up because like I said usually when I produce something here on my computer I want to see it on my phone so I can get it to Instagram um, which you know Instagram doesn't have any external upload outside of the phone yet and if, if anybody knows that there is one let me know because I, I haven't found it yet and that blue stack stuff if you're going to leave that in the comments I've tried that out didn't like it but other than that if you find an external way to upload Instagram photos outside of the phone here from the computer let me know because I would like to see that um, other than that you know thanks again for subscribing um, and uh, leave me a suggestion let me know what you want to see me cover next all right talk to you guys later bye